the device of having uh, <coughs> one of the last surviving Polish flyers talking to a very young boy who hasn't even heard the name Hitler. Um, and the, re the way they get together is very charming, but the, that is the nitty gritty of the film, them talking together. And um, my character gently putting him in the picture about actually what's gone on and of what his parents went through, etc., etc., and the particular position of the Polish uh, contingent in the Battle of Britain. It's from years before the famous Battle of 1920. A lot of it was rather, was rather jokey at the time, because they were such daredevils. Oh, these Poles coming over here. <laughs> Don't obey any of the rules and all that. Well, indeed, that was so. That's why they shot down so many German airplanes uh, and why their own casualty list was so heavy because they were so deeply, passionately, internally committed to, to that fight that they just went in with all fists going. And uh, it's arguable whether we could finally have won the Battle of Britain without them, because they were, oh, what a force, what a force. The boy says, come on, get on. No, I can't do that. And what would my wife say? And all that, well, she's not looking down now, she's cloudy. And, um, oh, OK, well, on we get then. Christ, this is fantastic! <laughs> Which is just, it's wonderful. Hey, I need to breathe too. And, of course, the route that the director chose to, to go through, that market. You up for a fight? Why not? Absolutely remarkable. People being scattered like chickens. Oi, watch out! Ah, watch out! Move it! <laughs> and driving through the... Oh, just wonderful. And then coming streaming out the other end, and then he's suddenly flying again. And he's flying, and it's not... That's not just imagination. That's absolutely what was in his head at the time. first finally, time he's flown since the war. And, uh, and it really was like that. That's why he invites him into the house. Because he realizes there's an affinity between his adventurousness and, and the boy's adventurousness and the rawness of the boy uh, and his rawness when he was a flyer. He was only a kid when he went up there. And uh, he recognized that same daredevil thing which the boy does going through that market. And so he recognizes there is something. He says, come on, come in. No, I can't get, come, come. Come in and, and they just have a cup of tea and start talking. <laughs>